May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you. Hi, my name is Ed Horstman and welcome to This Week at Round Hill Community Church. First of all, this will be our last video message as part of our weekly e-blast uh, for the summer months. We'll take a little bit of a break and return in September. I want to celebrate the fact that we will begin construction for the solarization process of our church campus this week. So you can be looking for some construction to happen around our buildings on campus. We're really excited uh, to see the installation of the solar panels finally get underway. I also have some really great news about staff updates. The Reverend Shannon White, who has been our interim pastoral associate since last September, is now going to be a permanent member of staff, the full-time pastor for spiritual development. So welcome, Shannon. We're delighted to have her in this role. And I also want to celebrate the fact that we have taken away the interim uh, title for Lizzie Sid and Tanya Priyatka, who are the co-coordinators for our children's ministries. They are now also permanent positions, still part-time. We are very, very delighted to have all of these members of the church staff. We have a terrific team, and we're delighted that we can all move forward in a more permanent way. So congratulations to Shannon and to Lizzie and to Tanya. The church picnic will take place on June the 19th, and uh, that will be immediately following the service of worship. And we'll also have a dedication ceremony that day for the solar panels. And we hope that you'll be able to join us if at all possible. We look forward to that celebration. So once again, this will be the last video message for the weekly e-blast. The weekly e-blast messages will continue to go out, but they will just not be accompanied by the video message during the summer months. May these coming months be full of grace and refreshment and opportunities for gathering and renewing your spirits so that we can truly be replenished at the deepest and most vulnerable parts of our lives in order to do the work that God has called us to do. So may the grace and peace of God be with each and every one of you, now and always. Amen.